Shalom unto the elect of the nation of Israel. First and foremost, before I get into my lesson, this message or these videos goes out to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which we are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. And furthermore, before I get into my lesson, I want to start off by giving all praises unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Makah HaKadash, double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone that teach in the Ruel today. And citation also, once again, to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry and the believers that scatter worldwide in our truth and sincerity day in and day out. Shalom. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to get into a quick lesson. As you know, recently, okay, um, start with the apostles, elder apostles, bishops, and the elder brothers, okay, the brethren on down. Been doing response videos, okay, to this individual, uh, Vocab Malone, okay, once again, okay, which is known as a, a, a Christian apologist, okay, and he um, did a, you know, basically like a, a debate or, you know, a back and forth, okay, with an individual amongst Israel, okay, which is um, amongst Israel when it comes to one of the members of ISUPK, Captain Zazariak, and, you know, basically Vocab Malone, you know, since him believing in Christianity, okay, because, you know, the doctrine of Christianity, believe that who the world called Christ, okay, which, first of all, his name is not Jesus Christ, okay, which we know his name is Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach in the pillar of your Hebrew, okay, but you have vocab alone make mention that, you know, when it comes to the doctrine of Christianity, okay, that uh, who the world called Christ is dealing with all nations, okay, and he, you know, known for, for years now coming against the Hebrew Israelites, okay, because when it comes to the doctrine of the Hebrew Israelites, the true doctrine, okay, of the Bible, that Yahweh Bashim Shai is only for one nation, when it comes to salvation, and that's the Israelites, okay, that's apparently or happening to be so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, we're waking up to that fact, okay, and also the scripture speak of when it comes to these other nations, these heathen nations, starting with the so-called white race in particular, okay, which are the biblical Edomites, that their future is slavery, okay, after this place, America be destroyed by the way of thermonuclear missiles at the peak of the Third World War, also at that time of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach second coming by the way of the invasions of what the world call UFOs which are the chariots or the vehicles of the angels and, then, and at that time the Lord is going to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel which considered 144,000 and the one third okay that's destined to be saved and throughout the process of time okay this place in America never going to be inhabited again okay once the fire and the smoke dies down, okay, it's not going to be inhabited by nations, okay, but only desert creatures, and Yahweh Shai is going to set up the kingdom here on the earth in the land of Israel, okay, which that land, okay, the land of Israel is going to be destroyed by fire as well, by the way of the missiles and the chariots, okay, at the peak of the Third World War, because the people that's over there are not the original inheritors when it comes to those phonies, okay, they go back to Esau Edom that stole our land during the time of 1948, Okay, and they are uh, Amalek. Okay, you know, but to say all that, eventually, once the true rightful owners start with Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, which is an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, okay, which happened to be the so-called Negroes today, okay, but from from that time when Yahweh Shai established the kingdom, okay, the elites of Esau Edom, and these heathen nations that remain after the destruction from the missiles. They're going to be the first ones that are going to go into two captivity, okay? Hey, but according to Vocab Malone, okay, he's trying to find a way to sneak salvation in there for Esau Edom, okay? Or for all nations, or for the heathens, okay? But although you got Israelites scattered amongst all nations, and it may take on the physical appearance of another nation, but their spirit and their bloodline is of so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American descent. They're Israelites. And eventually, the Lord is going to deliver those amongst uh, uh, the heathens. Okay? Hey, but the point is that 
I want to get into this lesson is that, hey, man, Esau Edom is not going to escape, okay, the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, okay, for all the wickedness that Esau Edom has done, okay, because Vocab Malone made mention in the um the little, you know, interview or debate to Captain Cesariat that, you know, according to Christianity, you got to love your enemies, okay, not knowing the context of the scriptures, okay, when it comes to loving your enemy amongst Israel, it's a fellow Israelite, okay, that might be going off in the doctrine, or, you know, Israelites generally, okay, that the Lord going to, you know, eventually have mercy upon, because at this time, two-thirds of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, is going to be, is going to be, um, is going to be cut off at this time. They're going to be destroyed, okay, in the plagues, as we're coming to the time of uh, Jacob's trouble, okay, here in America, okay, because once again, the elect is going to be delivered. And like I said, according to Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8, two-thirds going to be cut off for their wickedness. And they will have to come back in the kingdom, being the sons and daughters of the elect. Okay? But you see the nations that perish on this side on this, or in this lifetime, they're going to come back in the kingdom, okay, through their bloodline of the heathens, okay, to be servants, man. Okay, starting with Esau, Edom. And there's plenty of scriptures. And I'm going to start off with Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 12. Okay, to show you that we're in the time of the Lord visiting Esau Edom, in the time of their judgment, okay, for all the wickedness they've done against us as a nation, and what they have done when it comes to corrupting the world, okay, and what their father more still trying to do, as they're trying to uh, establish the NWO, okay, which is going to be a failing attempt when, when Yahweh Shai return and disappoint them, okay, that's going to lead to them going into captivity eventually. Okay, for a thousand years. And after that thousand year period, the only nation that's going to be done away with are the biblical Edomites. Okay, after the thousand year period of the slavery of the heathen nations. Okay, according to Obadiah 1 and 18. Okay. But now we've been, we come into the beginning stage of their downfall. This is Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 12. For thus said the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup has surely drunken. Yeah, that's going to us, the Israelites, okay, due to our disobedience and breaking the, 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 the covenants, okay, when it comes to the law, statute, commandments, the Lord punished us and put the curses upon us according to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 15 through 68, okay, at, at this time now that we're in captivity here in America and scattered amongst the heathen nations, okay, being oppressed, okay, and being under the, the curses, okay, so we had to drink of the cup when it comes to the Lord's wrath, man. Okay? And it says, And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? And it's going to Esau Eden. Okay? So he ain't going to go unpunished, man. He ain't going to escape the judgment or the wrath for Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. And it says, Thou shall not go unpunished, but thou shall surely drink of it. Yes, yeah, so they're going into the Lord bringing judgment upon them and putting the curses upon them. Okay? Let's get this. So now they're about to drink of the cup. And it starts with them being exposed that they're the Edomites and their future. Okay? As Yahweh Shai is against them and these heathen nations. Lamentation chapter 4, verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of us. The cup, hey, they go the cup, hey, the cup of the Lord wrath, okay, judgment, and, and future slavery is part of that. Okay? The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shall be drunken and shall make thyself naked. Yeah, they're going to their exposure. Okay, when it comes to Esau, you don't wickedness. Okay, so now the cup is passing on to them. Okay, and then it starts with the prophets exposing them. You know, you got other individuals exposing the, the Edomites when it comes to these elites agenda. Okay, but mainly the prophets summing up when it comes to their future. When it comes to them going into captivity and these heathen nations. And it says, the punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity, okay? Because now we're coming to the end of our captivity. And it's starting with Israelites waking up, okay? When it comes to the so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Uh, and eventually, Yahweh Shai returning and redeeming the elect. And it says, and he will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. And that's what we're witnessing, okay? You saw Edom exposure, exposure, and eventually the time of their judgment, Okay? Let's get this on. Um, 
Because Esau always had that perpetual hatred against us, man. Okay, still to this day. Okay, to prove that, they're, that they are our enemies, man. Amos chapter 1, verse 11. This said the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom, and for four I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword, and who is his brother? Okay, when it comes to Jacob, okay, or the Israelites, okay, and that's not, you know, that's, and that's come, you know, you know, how can I say that's, um, you know, that's, that's proof, okay, when it comes to scriptures and history, okay, the, the, you know, the, the, um, the, the hatred between the so-called white race, which is Edom, okay, and the so-called Negroes, okay, which are the Israelites, okay, or the Negroes Latino Native Americans, which are the Israelites, okay, start with the so-called Negroes, the head tribe, okay, Judah, and it says, because he did pursue his brother with the sword, a slavery, okay, in this current time, okay, still to this day here in America, how we being treated, okay, because he did pursue his brother with the sword, and when it comes to this NWO, they want to cut us off as a nation, Psalms the 83rd chapter going to that, Okay, we start with Esau, Edom, and his heathens. Because he did pursue his brother with the sword, and did cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. Okay, so there ain't gonna be no forgiveness for Esau, Edom. Uh, Hebrews 12 and what, uh, 16, go into that. Okay, ain't no repentance for Esau, Edom. Okay, yeah, so now we're coming to the time of their visitation, and ain't no escaping it. It doesn't matter how much you. Uh, 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 apologists uh, when it comes to Christianity trying to debunk the Hebrew Israelites they say that uh, the Lord care or love care or love or uh, have love are going to save all nations okay now these heathen nations going into captivity man okay starting with the Edomites okay let's get this on um, what is Ezekiel Ezekiel chapter 35, verse um, 5. And it says, Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, it is going to Esau Edom, okay? And hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, yeah, as we in this captivity, okay? In previous or uh, uh, prior uh, years, okay? And the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time of their iniquity, had it in, okay, especially the times now but that we enter into, because we're about to witness the deliverance of Israel, okay, and, but at the same time, we're coming in the time of approaching Jacob's trouble, and part of that trouble is Esau Edom coming down with that sword, okay, as he know that he have a short time left, okay, Revelation 12 and 12, okay, and it says, therefore, as I live, say the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee, Say, set thou hast not headed, since thou hast not headed blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Okay, so they're going to be paid back, man. Okay, judgment. And the Lord going to set up Israel to do that. Okay, once the kingdom is established. Okay. With Ezekiel chapter 25, verse 12. And it says, And this said the Lord power, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, and had greatly offended and revenged himself upon them, Therefore, this is the Lord power. I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it. And I will make it desolate from Teman and they of the Dan shall fall by the sword. Okay, start with the, the destruction of America. That's going to be, um, you know, that's going to be the leading, okay, time of Esau Edom downfall, man. Okay, you know, where witches start with this truth now, but especially when they America, America destroyed and Israel destroyed. And these elites in their retreats, okay, they're going to be reserved once again for captivity. And it says, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And that's going to take place when Yahweh Shai reign here on the earth, when the elect come back out of the chairs, okay, to take over here on the earth, okay, and uh, and uh, uh, the kingdom being established, okay. And like I say, the first ones that's going to go into captivity are the Edomites, start with the elites. Okay, right on down with the rest of the heathen nations, and they shall do in my and they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, say the Lord Yahweh Bashmiah Shai. So it's going to be the will of Yahweh Bashmiah Shai. Okay, and in that time Israel going to be 
uh, change, okay, all righteous, the new covenant, then it's going to be in effect when it comes to the law, statute, commandments, and the in elect inward parts, okay, and immortality, uh, uh, spiritual power, okay, yeah, it's going to be that bad, okay, for Esau, Edom, okay, in the time of the Lord avenges, okay, for the time of the Lord's judgment, in the time for Esau, Edom, captivity, and these heathens, man, okay, because all of them are going, to, are going to go into captivity. Matter of fact, let me get this. That Jeremiah chapter 30. I'll start at verse 16. And it says, <clears throat> um, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16. Therefore, all that devoured thee shall be devoured, and all thy adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. So all the heathen nations, okay, primary. Number one, Esau, Edom, okay? Primary number one enemy of uh, uh, Israel. And they that spoil thee shall be your spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Okay, so all the resources of the earth gonna belong to us, which is rightfully ours anyway. Start with you, Howard Shah. Okay? For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, say the Lord. Okay, and the Lord doing that now by calling, okay, the hopeful elect, okay, eventually the elect being chosen. Okay, us are the whole for that. Okay, that's make up the 144,000. Okay, the body government and the one third of men, women, and children of Israel that's destined to be saved. Okay, and like I say, the two thirds are going to come back in the kingdom, being part of that inheritance as well, that's going to rule. Okay, over these heathen nations. Okay, and, and, and reign here on the earth. Okay, because thou hast called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, who no man seeketh after. Okay, and that's how these heathen nations feel. Start with the Edomites. They don't looking for. They're not looking for us to. Okay, the uh, the look at, look at us, the Lord chosen people. Okay. Hey, but now they're starting to figure out and see prophecies coming to pass, and eventually, hey, Yahweh Shah once he returns and establishes the kingdom, and they're gonna definitely know in that time who the Lord is dealing with, man. Okay, so that's the time that we're coming into, man. Okay. And so all our uh, enemies going into captivity. Okay. In Revelation 13 and 9 say that what? He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. And he that killeth by the sword must be killed by the sword. So that's righteous judgment. Oh, you how about Shema was shot? When it comes to our enemies, okay? And the curses that the Lord put upon us, okay? According to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15 through 68, it is going to be put upon our enemies. You know, and I'll get ready to end with that. But that's on... Um, Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 6 and the Lord thy power will uh, circumcise thy heart and thy heart of thy seed okay eventually when it comes to the kingdom okay we're going to be righteous okay enter into the new covenant to love the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul that thou mayest live verse 7 and the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee which persecute D, and that's starting with the biblical Edomites, man. Okay, now the curse is about to be upon them, okay, and the rest of these heathen nations, man. Okay, and the blessings, okay, that the Lord stated in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 1, okay, through 15, okay, or through 14, okay, is about to be what the Lord, um, uh, uh, show his favorite, okay, when it comes to the nation of Israel. Okay. okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end the lesson here, and I pray that the lesson is edifying. Till next time, Lord willing, Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom.